named Jolly Molly Wong and also the author of the urban fantasy novel Under Her Cursed Scythe. So for today's video, I think it's a video for writers definitely, but also for, you know, people who have friends who are writers or someone who likes to write. And I think this video will be quite useful for you, especially because Christmas is coming and you are looking for a best present for your friends. So yeah, today I'm going to talk about is writing kits. So writing kit, the first writing kit I've ever created was created during 2014. And the reason for creating that is because I want to write wherever and whenever I want. And I need this very, very con you know convenient package where I can not only store my pens and my notebooks, but also, you know, little scraps of things that I can find from all around my surroundings and, you know, have a little record so that I won't miss, miss any of these inspirations when they come to me. You know, inspirations just come to you so sudden and when you find that you don't not have have a single piece of tissue paper or paper or pen for you to write down it's really really frustrating especially for writers and i believe after creating this writing kit it truly helped me to write a lot more and uh, to treasure a lot of the inspirations and memories that will help my future work so yeah today i'm going to share about the writing kits i've created and hope you it might inspire you to create your own writing kit or buy the perfect gift for your writer friends so yeah let's go straight to those writing kits so these are the three writing kits i've created so far and we we'll would like to start with my first writing kit which is created during 2014. as you can see this is in fact a simical pencil case Yes, when you go to Spickles, you can see pencil cases for children and they're so large. And inside here, you can look at it. Um, yes, you can see you can put in pens. This area used to be an area where you can children put in calculators and, you know, a little card stuff. So as you can see, I do have my old journal inside here because I still haven't finished it. And I do have some pens. But uh, one of the things, I think some of the areas you can put in two pens, but of course you have to be two very slim pens in order to put inside. So... <laughs> Basically, I can put a lot of stuff inside and uh, some of the inspirations that I've collected over the years. Yes. And then here I put in the little cards. This is one of the chocolate frogs cards because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. If you guys already know, I do have the Hufflepuff chocolate cards in it. Now, even though it seems that you can put a lot of stuff, to be honest, for the pens, you can only put in at most one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six or seven pens in it. You don't, you cannot put a lot. So basically, these are some of the few choices. And the other flaw about this journal, like this writing kit, is that it's quite thick. If you zip it up and then put it in your bag, you'll find that it's really heavy. And it's not the right definition as a very convenient or lightweighted writing kit. It's most he it's the heaviest among the three. So that's also the reason why I don't take this out anymore because it's so heavy and the bags I put them in are getting smaller and smaller. And this definitely cannot fit into my smaller bags. So yeah, for now I would say perhaps as a Christmas gift, this is the best choice because uh, the, the Smiggle the brand and uh, it looks very professional. It's very organized in terms of writing. It's the most organized one. And yeah, it's a good Christmas gift. But as in terms of, you know, practic uh, being practical, this is not really the best choice. Now, in comparison to this one, I created the second one, which is this. This is, I do not have a brand uh, exactly. It's called Alpha Omega, but I don't think you can find the same brand. But you can definitely find similar things um, in normal stationery shops. In fact, this is just a very, very cheap plastic pencil bag that I found in a random stationery shop. Um, it's around A5 size. That's the reason why I bought it. But inside for the notebook, I just put in an A6 size. It only fits A6 size, but I think it's around A5. But what I like about it is, for example, at the, at the back, you have this tag where you can write down your information. So just in case you lose it, people might be able to contact you. Hopefully, you will get it back. Um, for this case, I would say, even though it looks smaller than this one, but the things you can put in here, you can put more in this in comparison to this. And it doesn't cost a lot. So for those who don't want to cost a lot for your Christmas gift, but still want to, you know, make people happy or suit someone's taste, I think this is the best gift because, you know, sometimes for Christmas, the price of the gift is not that important. What's more important is buying something that suits that person or something that person needs. So basically in this, I do have, I can show you, I do have my notebook here. Another notebook that I will be doing a flip through when I finish it because there's still pages, more pages in this one. So I definitely have to finish this journal, do a flip through, and then perhaps I would do a flip through on this when I complete this as well. But I do have a lot of stuff that I can tell you. This is my creative journal. So I have that inside, A6 size. And then um, 
since I also like reading, I've also included a little poetry book. This is in fact a handmade book that I bought in Taiwan. But even though it's it's in fact not entirely Chinese, there are English words in it, and I really like. The content of it and how they arrange the pictures and you know the textures. They had a really a lot of requirements on making the best book, nice. and it's so in its A6 size. That's the best thing about it. So I, along with this, I can put it inside this little writing kit. What else is that? Because since I am doing a creative journal, I do put in some of the stickers in it. Um, so. I could, you know, decorate my journals from time to time.、Uh, this is still a journal where I want to make it beautiful. You know, I, I do have some concerns、uh, on arrangement and stuff. I do, you can see the stickers. I do have spent a lot of that time on that, trying to make it pretty. So, I do bring along some of the stickers. So, just in case I mess it up, I have stickers to cover it up.、Um, that's that. Also, some of the other stickers about crystals because I like crystals. So, I do have stickers. You can see all here. The stickers here. And then let's see. So this side is empty. So for this side, I mostly put in pens. I used to put a lot more pens, but now because no longer using it,、um, I do not. But yeah, inside that you have this little handcuff.、Um, this cuff is a gift from my friend. Well, like it's an inspiration, like a reminder, a motivation for me to write. It's telling me to follow my dreams, and and I really like it. And it's like my precious, so I put it inside. As inspiration, I do have this. This is in fact an amulet, a Japanese amulet、um, that I bought from a shrine in Japan. It says to have the ability to make your dreams come true.、Um, so yes, this few words make your dreams come true.、Um, so I do want to remind me as an, or a little blessing that I can bring along with me while I write. And then、um, once again, I used to put a lot more, but these are the two pens I put inside. This is from Sebra. I really like this brand's pen, Sarasa Clip. This as well. What I like about it, not only it writes perfectly, the design of the pens are really nice. I got these pens quite cheap in Taiwan, but if you don't have, if you include a few beautiful pens in it, it would be great for a good Christmas gift. Um, you know, get raw. So yeah, these are all the stuff for this writing kit. As you can see, if you, after pulling out, it's in fact a very very simple pencil case. But if you're buying this, I think it's quite suitable for a writer because it's very light. If you include all stuff, it's much lighter than this one, and you can definitely put it into a lot of small bags and carry it around with you. And you can not only put in these stuff, you can put in money and stuff, your phone if you don't put in the books in it, and it's quite convenient. You can definitely carry it around. Without your bag as well, so basically you have all your things you need just by carrying it.、Oh, nice. If、It's、you don't have a large budget, you can definitely go and get this, and then perhaps get some really nice pens, and then buy a new notebook for your friend, and then you know some of the charms and stuff. And when you add it up, oh, I think definitely if you can consider, you can consider buying some stickers for them for their journal. If you consider putting all these stuff, you know, putting these stuff together, this would be a very very good gift. So. Definitely consider that if you have a small budget on buying gifts for your friends. Now this is my current writing kit. This is the lightest one, the most convenient one, and the simplest one. So、um, yeah, as you can see,、um, well, the original concept of this is wanting to do a style that is like a Scamander, yes, Scamander suitcase kind of style. As you can see, I do have Scamander's wand pen, and then here, if you guys don't know or you haven't checked on my Harry Potter haul for this year, this is in fact. A product from Cotton On slash Harry Potter. It is a Patronus pen. So, so、uh, there's this little light. If you press it, you have a little deer, and it's the Patronus of um Snape. <laughs> so yes, this is a Patronus pen. I do have another pen that is also from the same series. But yeah, I this is my favorite one because of the Tiffany blue color. And I put it in. So these are the two pens that I bring along. Even though for the pens, you know, I bring less than my other writing kits. But the reason for that is because、uh, the style of my writing or the style of the writing journal is different from now. As you can see,、um, first you can see this is a coat, a notebook coat that I bought in Taiwan. It's quite cheap, around twenty Hong Kong dollars.、Um, the reason、um, why I no longer include stickers and a bunch of stuff. The reason for that is because. I'm doing something very random. Basically, I just need paper to write down. I'm no longer need.、Uh, there's no. There's no need for me to draw anything, and I do not、uh, need、uh, to decorate it. I just want something that's quite messy. Yes, I have one page that's messy that allows me to be crazy, to be out of control when I write, and allow me to take it out whenever I want and wherever I want. So I even it allows me to write on the subway. 
but yeah, it's quite convenient. This is the most convenient one because I can easily take it out from my uh, bags and then, you know, just use this, take out the pens and then start writing. And it is the smallest one and the most convenient one because I can put in almost every small bag I own. And even if I do not have small bags to put in, I can just carry it around with me easily wherever I want to go. If I'm going to places that are like not far from my home or my workplace, and I would just carry it around. It's really cool. I really like this writing journal so I'm currently using this and I'm writing in this instead and I do think as a writer to have a writing kit is very important and therefore hopefully this video will help you to create your writing kit or create a writing kit for your friend as a perfect Christmas gift and hopefully if I do have other writing kits in the future I would definitely share about it so yeah I think that's it for this video I hope you liked it if you liked it remember to give a big thumbs up and to subscribe and yeah and comment below if you have any questions about relating to these babies so yeah bye